Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and we are modeling for Advantage. So today's video is about hobby resolutions. Everyone's doing it, everyone's thinking about it. We're looking at that lead mountain, that pile of shame and thinking we need to do something about it. I know, let's make a plan for the whole year which we'll utterly fail to fulfill. Last year, I said I was gonna buy more sensibly and I was gonna paint more sensibly. And to be honest, that's one of the few things that I said I was gonna do that I have managed to achieve. So in terms of buying more sensibly and painting more sensibly, it's about broadly working out the list before you start. I was painting all the things that came in the box and it took up a lot of time, requires a lot of storage because we play so many different games on the channel. Now, work out the list, paint the army, sell on eBay the bits that we're not using. Maybe I'll buy them again later and maybe I'll regret that. But you know what? I was sitting on a mountain of unpainted models from the ends of boxes and so forth. Was now, if I'm not gonna use it in the next six months, paint it and play with it, it's going on eBay. Get the stuff, it comes in, it goes out. It works for me. Here we've got Johnny B with what his resolutions are for 2022. Well, Happy New Year, folks. Um, it's come to that time of year again where we're going to do some hobby resolutions. So last year, heading into 2021, uh, my resolution was to paint three whole Space Marine Dreadnoughts. Um, Kaiser bet his house that I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm going to spin you around and we're going to have a look and see how far I got. Well, obviously, with the knowledge that Kaiser literally bet his house, on it, I couldn't let him, me old mucker, Mrs. K and his boy get homeless. So, of course, naturally, I only painted one, and that is the sole reason. Uh, I assure you, that is the sole reason as to why I only painted one dreadnought. I'm happy with how it came out, though. Um, it's not the only thing I painted. Look, there are other things, and I think a majority of these were painted in 2021. All sorts of bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, it's time to set goals for 2022. So, right, I think this year I'm going to set myself the target of painting two Space Marine Dreadnoughts. Yes, that's what I'm going to do too. Um, this is really weird, man, doing it in my bedroom again. It's very 2020. So, anyways, two Space Marine Dreadnoughts. It's going to be on there next year. Oosh, done. Back to you, Kaiser. John's little video includes a couple of reminders for me, perhaps to shame me. Um, it's things that we talked about doing last year, things that he's painted for, and things that we haven't done on the channel. You'll notice that he had four Shermans in the background there. And also, he didn't say in his video, but he did paint them, is a couple of bonkers. We talked about doing a bolt action video uh, with a Sherman platoon sort of D-Day story um, dealing with some fortifications and see how well that worked out in the rules. We haven't actually played that game and we're going to. The second thing that you can see in all of those miniatures that John's painted for this year, um, none of which were towards his target, of course, was Frostgrave stuff. I had a look at Frostgrave and I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me. There's a lot to like about Frostgrave in terms of its kind of niche warband creation and so forth. We played a few games and to be honest, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. It, it wasn't it wasn't for me i can't tell you exactly why um because that idea of that really small warband campaigny type game i really like that idea for me it isn't frostgrave but i'm still looking it does remind me of the fact though that one of the things that i want to do a lot more of next year is play more campaign type games some games have got systems for campaigns and others we just string together a narrative but try to do more games two three games in a batch where there's some sort of narrative content, where there's some kind of campaign development to build a little bit of a story. Campaigns, not always worth playing to completion, but it's certainly worth experimenting with those systems. And we've had a great deal of fun with SPQR and its campaign system. There are other games we play, and I think we should look into that more. Next up is the channel's Warhammer aficionado, Clueless Mike. Hi there, Happy New Year, Clueless Mike here, and let's do some New Year's resolutions. Well, first of all, let's have a look at last year's. So I went back, I checked last year's video, 
and I've seen how I've done. So firstly, let's have this bad boy in here. I finished Mortarion. Oh yes, I finished him reasonably early in the year actually. I cracked him out, I think probably by March, April time. Um, I'm really pleased with him. I, I think I've done a really good job on him, certainly for my level of painting. I think he looks really good. Uh, loads of detail on there. It took me a long time. I mean, it's never best to add up the number of hours you spend painting stuff because you think to yourself, blimey, I could do a lot of other stuff other than painting, but painting is part of my hobby and it's how I relax. So no regrets and really pleased with him. Excellent model and I really like my paint job I've done on him. Uh, so that was the good point of that. Now the slightly less good point is, uh, well, Paul Sanguinius is still in the exact same state he was in last year. Now, <laughs> um, my wife and I were very lucky and we welcomed our son into the world in July this year, uh, which has really put a curtailing on my painting at home. I still paint at work during lunch times. So that's where I do the majority of my um, hobbying now. But unfortunately, this guy is going on this year's list again. Let's get him done this year. Um, that is my first aim is to get this guy done. He's not going to be the first thing I paint because I'm in the middle of a few projects, but I really want him done by the end of the year. He's not that big a model. I mean, I should be able to do it, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what else am I likely to do this year? Obviously, as always, I will be continuing on painting Blood Angels. Um, I may not have finished uh, Sanguinius this year, but I did paint a load of stuff. I have painted up oh, probably another... 50 to 80 Blood Angel Marines, uh, a load of Dreadnoughts, um, various other things for different armies. I painted up some new Bulgrins, uh, some different Terminators and stuff, some Sanguinary Guard, loads of additional stuff for um, armies, just for games that were coming up that I wanted models finished in. Uh, but one of my main projects that I'm hoping to do this year is my Custodes. So you can see on the shelf back here, I have a shelf full of Custodes. There must be 30 to 40 models there. Uh, which, when you're talking custodes, that's a lot of points. That's probably 3,000 points there. Um, but I've painted them up to a very basic tabletop standard so far. So this guy is the Blade Champion from the new box set that I did an unboxing for um, a few weeks back. Uh, so here's an example of my painting standard for that army at the minute. It has a rimmed base, a painted base. Um, weapons are painted, and the rest of him is three colours of gold. So he's gold, then he has been um, washed, then he's been dry brushed on there, and I've painted the face. Uh, but none of the other detail. You notice his cloak is still gold. Uh, he's at a very basic uh, tabletop usable standard. I'd put him on the table and use him, but he's not in any way painted. And I would really like to get my custode army up to a better level of painting. Now, it's one of those armies that I'm going to do as I go along uh, when I need models, I think. I'm going to try and take it to a couple of tournaments and that will be main motivation to get it done. So Custodes, Sanguinius and some Blood Angels. They are my hobby projects for the year. Let's see next year if I've got any of it done whatsoever. Happy New Year, everybody. Have a good one. Clueless Mike's resolution uh, for this year uh, reminds me of another thing that I need to do this year. Uh, so my second major resolution is to do the things that I don't like to do, that I think that would be good for me. Uh, the first of those, because he referenced them directly, is to start going to some tournaments and to events. I don't really like tournaments because I'm not hyper competitive, but I do want to get out there more and experience the broader community. I worry that Modeling for Advantage becomes a bit of an echo chamber with the people involved, that we never really kind of develop or learn or see the mistakes that we will repeatedly make because there's only us playing. Um, so tournaments and events are a good way of getting into that. Um, but just approaching it totally differently. I'm not going to tournaments and so forth to win. I'm going to take part. Um, and the other thing, you know, doing things that I don't really want to do, is about playing Warhammer 40k, to be honest. Ninth edition has got such massive rules bloat that, that we've been really hostile towards playing it. And I know, like with anything else, if we just play it more, we'll become more familiar with it. So one of the things that I've done as part of that um, is joined a Crusade League uh, at my local club, Loop Newton Tabletop Gamers, um, with my primary Space Wolves, which is A, going to encourage me to play with the, the edition more regularly, but B, it's going to give me a reason to get those models out and look at developing the force a little bit over time, get a little bit of Warhammer painting done, because um, I haven't really done any for quite a long time. Next up is James Workshop. 
So that's some really specific targets I've set myself there, and quite a few of them. So I'll list them here next to myself right now. Here they are. Uh, I hope to get all of these done by January 1st next year. Hello, James Workshop here. So uh, that was a lie. So let's start from the bottom of this list, shall we? Flesh Eater Quartz. Um, I did get a little way into this. I've got a start collecting box. I've got them built. I've got most of them base coated and based. So that's, that's something. Mortal Gods Hades. I did get to 300 points of Mortal Gods Athenians, but I've barely started my Hades. You'll be seeing on screen the War Games Atlantic Skeletons that I've started to build, uh, along with that guy from Jason the Argonauts that I mentioned last year. Bagration Soviets. You'll actually have seen them in um, a battle report at this point. So yeah, uh, I did get that one done. Bot Action Soviets, most of the way there. I've got a lot to do still. And the Bot Action Germans, I'm not actually sure I'm ever going to do those. <laughs> um, the Soviets are what I need to be concentrating on, so I will stick with that. That is last year's, now to this year. So new targets for this year. I would like to finish painting that uh, Flesh Eater Court Start Collecting box. I would like to get to the 300 points of Mortal Gods Hades, including Hydra, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to that. Um, I would like to continue painting my Soviets. I don't want to put a specific target on that one because I don't know how far I'm going to get. My new target for the year, having completed something and dropped something from last year, will be a 1500 point force um, of Horus Heresy Death Guard that I've been working on for quite some years. You'll be seeing them on screen. There's a little bit of them done already. Um, it will be this little lot and a uh, Leviathan Dreadnought, which I will show you on screen, um, the version that I'm going to get of it and the company that I'll get it from because I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else in this video has to say about their targets, and uh, I'd like to see in the comments what other people have they were planning to do this year. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Well, James, they were pretty ambitious targets, so I wouldn't beat myself up over that. Um, one of the things that I'm going to take from this is a reminder that James has been working in the background on his bolt action force, and we're looking at it. what he's developing is mid-war winter soviet so one of the things that we're talking about doing is not just stalingrad which is obviously where his are set but i've got some gebergsjäger and they're going to need rebasing um which is a project that i've been putting off but those mountain troops don't get a lot of use uh, and they're just visually quite different so one of my targets for this year is I'm going to rebase that army so it's usable in bolt action. Continuing on uh, with Flames of War content, here's Harry from Fog of War. Hi, I'm Harry from Fog of War. I'm far too old to believe in New Year's resolutions. They're just a recipe for defeat and disaster. But I do have a few things that I want to get done this year. 2021's been a great year, and a lot of that has been my collaboration with Modeling for Advantage, so I really want to continue that. Next year, we've done a lot of fun stuff and we've got things planned for coming up. On the hobby side, though, I have a few resolutions, a few intentions, things that I want to get done. Some of those include reviewing some of the things out of my pile of shame. So, for example, the Kaiser has been kind enough to send me things that I haven't yet reviewed. So I've got a Hungarian Zirini here uh, just before Christmas, all the things from... Um, the new American Bold Spearhead box turned up. So I've got a bunch of things to review there. So I've got lots of things to do to keep me interested. The other thing is I started making rules videos. However, what I actually need for that is a better table. I've looked at the Kaiser's table video and decided I'm going to give that a go. At the moment, we're having a run of 40 degree weather here in Australia, and that's probably not the time to be trying to spray PVA. But I did finally manage to get some Woodland Scenics um, grass. That is in very short supply here in Australia at the moment. It's very hard to get, and you have to compromise a bit on the colours. This wasn't what I wanted, uh, but it will have to do. 2021 has been a bit quiet for Fog of War so I hope to actually get a few more videos made. I've got plenty of things in my pile of shame, I just need to spend more time actually uh, getting things done. I do also have several hobby projects on the go. For example, here's a bunch of early war British that I've got that I need to paint up for my desert forces. There's also these fox armoured cars I need to get done for Team Yankee, and these Abbott self-propelled artillery pieces. So those are my resolutions for 2022, for what they're worth. Back to you, Kaiser. Thanks for that, Harry. Um, so Flames of War and Team Yankee for the channel next year, 
We've made a lot of progress with Flames of War and Team Yankee over this year. I got the British Team Yankee army is is finished, although there's space for development for it, uh, which was an army that I had to build for John and paint for him because it's not really a game he's massively into, but he plays it because I want to. Um, whereas the uh, Red Force, as it were, I've really been waiting on the Warsaw Pact release, which was originally slated for the middle of this year. We just had a Battlefront update, which is coming, I think they said April, maybe they said June, but it's coming the middle of 2022, allegedly. Um, and I need to see what new units are coming out with that before I commit too heavily. I've got like six T55s painted in these colors and a hind. So I really want to see what the list looks like. I said before about painting to a list. When that army comes out and I can look at the book, then I'm going to start building the East German army. Because I think it'd be different from the kind of Soviet armies that you commonly see. If you think about Flames of War, we made loads of progress with Flames of War this year. The British Flames of War, late war, 1944 Normandy type era army is just about ready. Uh, again, that's a British army for John to use. We're at the stage now where we're putting decals on and doing some sort of finesse highlights, but he's got 75 points ready to go. And then we're going to play a few games and maybe add in some units during the course of the year. It's literally decals and a couple of highlights to go with those. The German uh, late war force with the reconnaissance battalion with the little 250 uh, half tracks, that, that's all done. Um, so now I'm going to look at padding that force out, looking at maybe looking at a panther battalion. I know it's not very meta, but that's kind of why I want to do it. Uh, but changing the support options and slowly that army will grow a little bit as well. But what I'm really excited for next year is um, is with the Battlefront's announcement about the mid-war update. Really uh, interested in the North Africa campaign. The points were a little bit off, certainly for the models that we had. We had the really powerful mid-war German tanks, which were just way overpointed. I think with the new book coming out, which I think is just a compilation, really, we'll look again at that army, see if we can make it. Uh, more meaningful or maybe just straight up switch out for the Italians or something there was definitely a problem that the British got a million units some of which were good and the Germans got like three um, so that's something to look forward to as well final contributor today a brush and quill check this hi guys hope you're doing well so this is just a quick look at uh, how 2021 went and uh, ideas for 2022 really uh, based off the old uh, video which we did last year. So my plan for 2021 was to complete things and, and uh, uh, finish off things that I'd started, um, which I sort of did. I finished off the resistance army I was building for Drop Zone Commander that's up to a playable level now, which is always good. Um, but I also sort of got so distracted into lots of other things. I did the 6mm British for the Battle of a Say, which uh, they're all done. And I did the steam tank um, project where I built the entirety of the steam tank um, from a kit bash. So that, that also got done. I built the uh, Fallout Waste and Warfare truck, um, piece of terrain, which was a brilliant piece to complete because it's the first time I put lights on stuff and really looked at super detailing a piece of terrain. And um, also I did various commissions throughout the year, so I did a uh, um, French Peninsula army for Kaiser, and I did uh, some Blood Bowl stuff for my stepdad. So that was really nice to start really getting some uh, legs under me on the on the commission stuff. So 2022, it's going to be a similar sort of vein of completing stuff and doing stuff, and obviously there'll be missed projects along the way, so like the big standouts for 2022 are going to be the Indians for the SA battle. So that I can actually hopefully by this time next year I've got a game in. Uh, the Hornblower project, I really like to finish that one off this year because it's it's been sitting in my shelf for a good few years now and, and not well around to doing it. The artillery group build for that's actually almost finished. Uh, finish off the Waste and Warfare start set for Fallout because there's only about six models they need to paint, so there really should be no reason I can't finish that. And of course, various missed projects along the way, because you know me, I, I get so attracted to all sorts of different things. I wish you guys have a good new year, and I'll see you in the next video. Russian Quill has been a great friend of the channel over the past year. There's things that he's done for us that you haven't seen. You don't see him often in battle reports because we don't live near each other and the whole COVID and lockdown and all that kind of stuff. But one of my targets for 2022 is to get a battle report in with Russian Quill. Really, really want to do that. 
Um, Brush and Quill's been doing some work for us uh, in, in terms of commission painting. It's very much working on a mate's rate kind of principle as well, which is one of the things that I've come to realize is I can't do all of the painting and the modeling for the channel. I, I have to start. At the beginning, I could farm some of the work out. I could ask John to do bits here and there, but it's just get, it's just become too much for all of us. So I'm having to start you know, widening the net a little bit and see who was people who might be involved with the channel a little bit or prepared to do a bit of commission painting at not like commission painter rates. So Brush and Quill has already done some French Napoleonic Peninsula for us. He has also taken the starter set Strontium Dog and Blood Red Skies for mid battle midway and he's looking at painting and modeling those for us and is talking about doing a british napoleonic force which we can use for a little bit of sharp practice or some other skirmish game but the other thing this reminds me of is my big project for this year my my project of passion my project of love um i mentioned this in other videos when we went to selwig i saw great escape games 12 mil first world war Went straight in, mate, up, you know, up to my neck in it, got the rules, got the miniatures. There's a lot of painting, battlefields to build and so forth. But the First World War is, is, is a great affection of mine. And I really hope that by the end of the year, uh, I've managed to get that done. But of course, there are many other games, smaller games for the channel that we play occasionally. Mortal Gods, which James Workshop referenced, uh, American Civil War. Um, and and I want to try this year to find some generic systems. So I'm looking at things like the Wiley Games system um, and others that allow us to play with things that are um, a familiar rule set, but with but with very different characterization. And that's going to allow us to do things. So, so John, for example, is a great lover of movies. Is there ever going to be a t Total Recall miniatures game? No, but there are miniatures, and if you get a kind of generic rule set that you can apply that with, those kind of things I think we could really get into and get behind. Um, and just the, the small scale actions is something that we want to get more involved in. Well, that's it from us. I hope you all have a fantastic 2022. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. The New Year's resolutions went la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da The New Year's resolutions went la di da di da all day long. Again. Yeah. You sounded like you were about to cough. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. Resolutions time again. So last year, the beginning of 2021, I decided that I should do things. Have a quick look at them here. One of my targets for this year, I'm going to rebase that army so it's usable in 40k. The plastic kits went la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. The plastic kits went la di da di da all day long. The plastic kits went la-di-da-di-da. -di -da -di -da.